now. Hello, this is the info meeting uh, of the 6th of September. We are uh, me, uh, Mark White, Stefan uh, Merle, and Bruno Verhagen. Um, as uh, an we uh, we don't have uh, any specific announcement to make. Um, for the upcoming calendar, uh, the weekly is in progress. And so uh, 2.261.1 uh, uh, LTS uh, release will be tomorrow. The next security release will be uh, on the 21 of September. And uh, as a uh, next major event, uh, we have the Jenkins board and officer election. Uh, in September, uh, we will announce and accept uh, nomination. In October, we will register the voters. In November, cast the vote. And in December, announce the result. Uh, Damien, as infra officer, uh, will certainly run the elections. And we will see with him uh, as soon as he comes back from PTO. Any other announcement or calendar to turn to any so questions? On the Jenkins Weekly and possible impact on the LTS, uh, I've had reliability problems with GitHub today. And so I'm a little concerned that the weekly may be disrupted by GitHub, GitHub unreliability. Uh, I'll do checks of, on it after meetings end today. I, I don't know the current health of the weekly. I hope it's in progress. I've seen some indications that it's been published, but I haven't seen, haven't been able to do the checklist yet to confirm that it's actually a good release all the way done. Okay. So, um, for the issue we've done uh, this week, uh, there are a few. Uh, Daniel took care of adding. Uh, uh, mirror URL for um, two, repos two repository, artifact repository. And uh, there is a, uh, a private discussion we will we'll have with Damien and him to know if we should have access uh, to the artifactory so we can manage this uh, kind of issue ourselves. Uh, Basil has opened another issue uh, related to mirrors about uh, um, to, 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 about a repository. Uh, it seems to be a very little repository, tiny repo, and I don't know if he ask uh, Central uh, if he can publish on it. So. Uh, I didn't put any milestone on it since it's uh, not really, we can't really do anything. I let them discuss. The other issue we've done was uh, adding a maintainer to a repository uh, um, on GitHub. So I've used the IC bot to, to do it. In the work in progress uh, issue, uh, there is a, a new issue uh, uh, I've asked uh, for the, um, this user to confirm me he has access to this email. And when I confirm it, uh, it I, uh, I'll be able to delete uh, his account. I've checked on the repository permission update uh, it, uh, he isn't a maintainer uh, of any plugins. Um, uh, ask me about ask us about uh, uh, hosting a plugin health scoring application. I've uh, I saw it with him. He, uh, we made a little uh, um, 
improvement to the pipeline library to be able to, uh, to retrieve a stashed artifact as he was building its, his uh, Java application at the beginning of the pipeline, then calling our uh, build docker and publish image uh, shared pipeline library. But this function is doing a checkout at it, its beginning and didn't retrieve the stage uh, artifact like the, uh, the jar and docker file. So I've made a, I've made an improvement to the pipeline library. And uh, we we so it work as intended. We now have to add uh, the plugin L scoring uh, repository on the Docker hub, uh, but we don't have access to it. Damien will add us to this uh, account, but we don't have access for now, so it will wait. I also ask him to uh, to make uh, an end chart, and he's doing it, uh, and will it will he will add it to the end chart we have on Jenkins Safra. And when will uh, when all uh, when the end chart uh, is ready and the repository created on Docker Hub, uh, we will be able to deploy it. I think on prod uh, public KVTS, K8 dates, but. Uh, I have to confirm it with Damien. On the collect data dog metrics for ephemeral uh, virtual machine, I let Stefan. Yes, thank you. Um, I did some progress concerning the Azure part with the Azure VM. I got uh, uh, agents for test working right now and, and spawning uh, data dog agent. Um, I worked on uh, the version of, on EC2, but I'm stuck right now on the cloud init that was uh, not starting and right now is starting without uh, in really understanding why. So I'm in a good way, but not knowing exactly why. And the last part is with the Kubernetes and um, the Docker side of, uh, of that same agent. Um, my problem here is with the, um, the path and the environment variables. So um, it's it's still a work in progress and uh, we'll see if Damien can uh, find a few solutions in there. Um, for the next issue, the Jenkins released Twitter account uh, many weeks behind. I've looked around uh, the, the LVR.it uh, uh, account and Twitter feed. I sent them an email and they answer, they respond, they can change the email, but just for one with uh, CosUK domain. So I've sent uh, an email to CosUK asking him if he can uh, Retrieve the account and change the associated email to our private uh, one. I'm waiting for a response. The, this issue, I didn't, I don't have any progress since last week. I, I have to ask for Damien, Damien what is it? It's about, uh, um, we didn't uh, um, make any progress on this issue. The containerized uh, Java um, uh, 17 Windows agent. Uh, I don't know, uh, Stefan, if you made the progress on the all-in-one image? No, not at all. And finally, uh, reintroduce an artifact caching proxy for CI.jenkins.io. I've made the progress. I have a working proxy on Azure. And I'm now uh, looking at uh, creating one on DigitalOcean to, to have uh, one on two different providers. And then we'll, we'll probably have uh, to tune uh, the engine's configuration, the proxy configuration. 
for now I've made uh, some measurements and I'm uh, in the, the, the rate are uh, similar to the uh, central repository. I don't know uh, how much uh, it's uh, the caching in, um, uh, make uh, in uh, how much uh, the caching uh, uh, reduce the bandwidth yet, but uh, uh, I will measure it uh, later. And uh, finally, if we are going to the the new important uh, issue, we don't we didn't add any issue to this list. Uh, there is uh, some new issue, but uh, I didn't put it there because I don't know how to act on them yet. Like the Windows agent, which take. Uh, Four to five times uh, uh, the amount of time uh, from uh, compared to Linux for the tests. Three times. It's, as, it's good enough. Three times. Yeah, but uh, I don't see really how we can resolve this. How Basil, um, Basil explained, uh, he enabled uh, some tests. Uh, for Windows and it's a uh, reason now these tests take a long time. And Daniel is uh, suggesting we might uh, want to publish incremental deployment as soon as uh, the Linux build are uh, best passed uh, without waiting for the Windows one. But uh, yeah, I, we didn't take any action on this issue yet. The, and uh, I don't think there is, no, uh, there is also this issue, but I don't, I have to ask uh, Damien what this is about. I don't see what we can do on it. And uh, that's it for the issue of this week. Uh, do you have any questions, or Mark? Not a question, more an observation. Well, while, while the meeting was happening, I've seen that the uh, Datadog alert has been raised that the Windows installer is not available. And so that hints that the weekly build had a problem generating the Windows installer somehow. And so I'll have to do separate investigation afterwards to understand what went wrong and what we resolved, whether it was a GitHub hub problem or some issue in the build scripts unknown right now, just that we, we, I can see there's an error and I'm proud that our monitoring detected it. That's really great. Yeah. And it's nice you said us uh, it's related to the weekly release because I wouldn't have made the relation between them. Right, yeah, so so that 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 monitor is raised if a new version is released and the corresponding Windows installer is not available. whereas i'm I'm happy to announce that the Debian installer for the window the weekly release ran successfully and performed the install. or no, the the red Hat one did. the RPM did, and the Debian one is running now and is is looking just fine. So it appears to be somehow specific to Windows. And so needs some investigation. Okay. Do you need any help uh, on this investigation? I don't think so. At this point, it's just a matter of time. And I don't think it's a crisis. So there, there is, a, what will happen is users who go to Jenkins.io right now and attempt to download the weekly Windows build will get a not found page because it attempts to download the new version and the new version is not available. And, and okay. so if you get bug reports, if we get help tickets that are raised saying, hey, the Windows download is unavailable, yes, it's okay. known, we're working on it. Okay. And if you'd like, I could raise a ticket, but I wasn't going to raise a ticket unless 
it persists yep. for an extended period. Yep. Uh, that seems fine for me. Interesting. So Debian did not build with the most recent. So, so there may also be a Debian issue. Um, I the the Debian build that should have done 367 instead chose 366. So I'll more investigation needed is all, all I need to say. Okay. Um, if there isn't anything more to add, I'll, I will say goodbye and uh, see you next week. Thank you.